Hello Crafters TV. Thank you so much for joining us on this Saturday. It's lovely to be with you. If we haven't met before, nice to meet you. I don't know why I bowed. Nice to meet you. Very formal. All right. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Rebecca Eddykin, but you can call me Becky. And we have got a treat load of goodies for you today. Now, let me just get a little bit of housework out of the way first off. You may well have noticed that when we were starting the show, there was no music. And you will notice that we're not going to have any graphics on screen at this moment in time. Technical issues. Have you watched um, Wreck-It Ralph? You know the, the little girl in Wreck-It Ralph? She's known as the Glitch. I think she's uh, having a little bit of a wild time here at Lovely Crafters TV. We are trying to get it fixed. But we thought we can still come live and share wonderful products and wonderful demos. So that's exactly what we're doing. You can shop the show. All you have to do is do it in the normal way you do. Head on over to the shopping page and you'll be able to grab it there on the show today. The great thing about getting involved today is it's an extra 5% off all treats on show. Yes, really. So if you've been with us for a while, maybe you're a platinum member, you get 20% off anyway, standard. You're going to get an extra 5% off today. And it's today and tomorrow. Tomorrow's your final day. So make the most of those wonderful discounts. And boy, have we got some goodies for you. If you love gifting, if you love creating pieces that will raise a smile, then you're totally in the right place today because we've got so much on the show and giving us the creativity today and a bit of a sneak peek of some things to expect it's my pleasure to say hello good afternoon to the wonderful Jan hi Jan hi Becky what you oh got there? my goodness what have I got you know I always say that I love my stamping but when I saw these on our show today I got very excited I do like making things as well so anything 3d so we've got these gorgeous little boxes coming up today I've got three different ones to show you we've got the picnic box we've got the milk carton and we've got the infinity box and I have got all the means to decorate them as well so if you like your stamping and fussy cutting if you like construction work absolutely just up your street got a fabulous deal on them I'm going to walk you through each one individually to just show you how simple they are to put together Becky honestly love them oh I can't wait to get on those and that is what we're going to be bringing to you before we play Grab your card right later on today. Play your crafts right. We have got the very competitive but not competitive Jan and me. Who <laughs> team Facebook? I'm I'm on your team. I'm gonna wish you luck right now. Um, we have got a great game coming up for you. We're gonna be playing that throughout the show, so do keep your peepers peeled. We've got two rounds and you can get involved and we can get a winner later on in the show. We've got so much, as I've said, coming up for you today. We're going to introduce for you now the lovely Jan has just been showing us. This is a box collection and these are going to make you smile. What we're doing with this collection, as you'll be able to see, is bringing some collections in together. As I've said to you, we're not able to bring your graphics in, so do go ahead and shop the show. What you're going to get in each of the packs is dies to create the three boxes and then you're also going to get the stamping dies that you can decorate these with. So they all have slightly different themes as you can see. And the wonderful thing about these is um, if you are treating yourself to all of them, you're going to be saving over 50%. In fact, you're saving about 55%. But then you've got the extra 5% off on top of it. This honestly is like one of the biggest giveaways almost. It's huge discount we've got there. And there's such a wonderful range as well. And we're going to be demoing through loads of these for you. So do feel free, please, to get in touch with us on social media. What are you up to this Saturday? Do feel free to get in touch with any questions for Jan as well. And let us know what you are making. So Jan, what are we going to start making first? Well, it was a bit, it's a bit, I got three to choose from Becky. So it was a case of how do I go about it? So I thought we'll just start at the top on my list and we'll work our way through. So I'm 
going to start with that gorgeous picnic box. And I must admit, I try not to have favourites, but I think out of the three, I do quite like this one. Mm. And then when I move on to the next one, I think, oh, no, that's a favourite. So, yeah, they're, they're worth having. So you get a master die, which is your concept die. And then we offer you lots of different little stamp and die kits to decorate with. And they all mix and match across all three boxes. So there are three main concept dies, the picnic box, there's the milk carton, and then there's the infinity box, which I'm going to talk you all through, through all three over the course of the morning. Um, but we're going to start with this one. And this, as I say, is what we get in here for our money. So you get the, the sort of the worker die to make the box and lots of, you know, we're not going to leave the rest of that clear. So every little space has been filled with elements that you may need. So you've actually got the, the door windows if you want to use them these ones make the roof which i'm going to show you how to use you've got elements to make tags banners you know wording on there there's also even the little brickwork which i'm going to show you on, on the one as well so also in there you know don't forget you can always watch us guys back because once our shows are finished they're all archived in there you can you can bookmark them and actually watch them back but if you prefer things written down you actually get a little set of instructions in here as well so really nice pictures and, and written instructions all the way through how to actually put the box component together and then decorating literally so many different ways you can decorate these personal choice how you do them what colors what you know what mediums you use so what we need to do is take that main concept down you can see there how we've got sort of that starting of the box you can see the roof if I bring my box back in here you can see where we've got that sort of roof shape here coming on we've got the side panels and it just all clicks together really nicely when it's finished so we need to cut this piece twice so I'm just going to bring the plates in for my Gemini now I'm just thinking let me just double check this size for you I think it's just a wee bit big for your junior so you would need a larger platform to actually cut this one out of so I'm going to pop this on my cutting plate I'm going to add just a little bit of tape so that it doesn't slip away and then we'll cut this out and then I'll talk you through how to put it together. So just a little bit of tape on there to stop it moving. I do tend to put things on an angle when I'm die cutting. All right. And then we'll pop that through our Gemini. So we need to do this twice. So you'll need two pieces of cardstock. I've chosen for this one white stamping card and I'm going to colour it as well um, so again you know it could be craft card it could be black card it could be pattern card stock texture whatever you want but you want something that's a good construction weight to actually hold the design so the stamping cards are 300 GSM card stock I know that that's going to do the job for me so when we take the die off here now we've actually got our piece cut out that makes half of the box. So we need to do that twice and you will get two pieces looking exactly the same. You get all the score lines in here, so it shows you where you need to do the folding. So for example, we would fold our little glue tab inside. We're gonna fold it right across the top edge with the side panel as well. We would fold it along that side edge and then these two will become the bottom of the box okay and then this top one I like to just bring this forward a little bit so just turn it over and bring it forward because this one when it comes together this is going to be the piece that stands up and joins so you can see that shape on there so you can see what I've done there so if I bring in one that I've started to decorate so this started out life just as white stamping card and again you know if you were able to get any of those mixed media prod uh, products when I was on a couple of weeks ago I've just used the pink matte chalk paint absolutely love these as you may gather as you see going through the shows if not you know it could be anything it could be paint on there it could be ink on there if you've got your ink pads if you like using those you could create the background first and then die cut it and then you can see there are elements here from that set so let me just get rid of the rubbishy bit and pop this back on here and you'll see if I point out these elements you can see here put this underneath so that we can see the little brickwork pieces here so I've die cut this and then I've just started to stick some of these on to give the illusion 
of one or two bricks. And then you also get in one of the accessory kits, the stars have come from there. I'll show you where I've got those from as well. So I've done two of these, identical. I've just got a little bit of different colour decoration on and that's where we need to start. And then what we're going to do is we're going to join them together with the glue tab so that we've got one long continuous piece and don't forget we go through all this so we've cut the two panels it shows you how to score and fold them all how to stick them together you've got all that information on there if you need it and then the last one obviously when we roll it round is going to fit together here now you're going to need some kind of adhesive and when I'm doing construction I do prefer my red line tape you can use your tape runners these are strong enough for construction all right, you can use a wet glue. If you're using wet glue, I'd be going with my um, tacky glue to stick these together. Okay? okay. So however you prefer to go with it, but I've gone with the red line tape. Now these are actually the glue tabs, but I prefer to actually put my piece of tape on the inside of here, mainly because I want it to stick right up to this edge. So rather than doing it on the tab, I've literally put it on the piece that's gonna stick to the tab so that I can get a really nice stick. And I've also put a little bit around the bottom here, which is going to be the base. So all I'm going to do now is take this one off and literally pop this one right up, not over, but just match it up to that score line. I can still see my score line down the middle here because if you cover the score line, you're not going to get it to fold properly. And then once it's stuck down, I usually just give it a little burnish to make sure that that tape's going to stay in place. And then this one will literally, I've got my tape on the inside, this one will go to meet here. So we can take, well, literally before I actually finish those off, I'm going to start work on the bases. So I've put a piece of tape on the inside here and what the instructions ask you to do is to bring the triangle bit here. So I've got that triangle at the bottom and we're going to bring it onto here. Yeah. And line it up nicely with that edge to make a, an angle there. So that triangle's on the inside. You can see there where it's gone on the inside and just line it up. And I'm going to do the same with this one. So one on there, okay, bring this triangle up now from this side and then sit it onto this piece here. Yep, and I'm going to line it up again just to make sure. That's why I like the tape on this side so that I can get those edges perfect. And then literally give those a little burnish with your bone folder just to make sure it's all stuck. And then you can see how this is now going to sit on top of itself and it's as simple as that honestly so again you can see where I'll just do that again I've put the triangles on the inside to make those corners and then literally you're going to lift one side of the base over the other one and then you've got your little glue tab here is going to slot inside and you've made the shape so let's put that together now then so I can take the piece of tape if you want to add a little bit more glue inside I would go with the Kalal glue. So I'm literally going to pop this one inside here. So I want a bit of glue because the Kalal dries so firm. It gives you a really good sturdy base then if you're wanting to put a gift inside your box. So again, I'm just going to overlap them. But just before that, I need to take that little bit of red line tape. So are we ready? Mm -hmm. Pop that one on there and literally stick that one down and then I've got my last piece of red line tape just on the inside here I should have took that out really before I closed it I'll just get that piece out from the inside and then I'm going to tuck in my little tab here and stick that one onto there so you can see there I'm just going to pop that inside give it a good press down on the bottom and then just burnish that last little um, glue tab on the inside. So once everything's stuck in place, you can see we've got that nice little box shape going on there. And then the little lugs on the edge of the, um, the top here, you're just literally gonna push this together and pop those through the slit in the edge. 
So if I flip that over again, just pull this one out for a second. And again, squeeze them together, pop it through there, push it down, and that actually seals your little box. And don't forget that all of that that I've done there is on your instructions, right to the very end where we've got the little box together, which is, this is how far we've got. Right, next bit then is the fun bit. So we've done the construction bit, we can leave that bit to one side. You've got a multitude of choices with all these. There are so many different sets. I, sh I chose birthday parade for this one, but you can use any of the sets and you'll see some of the others as we go along with the other demos. And in here, you get a set of stamps and you get a set of matching dies. So there's all sorts. So for this particular one, you've got your presents for the birthday. You've got some gorgeous balloons, the banners. You've even got the birthday cake and the candle. This little piece is to stamp the roof tiles. Okay, I'll show you that in a second. And then you also get all the metal work there to cut out those. If you like to do the die cutting first and then stamp, or stamp and then die cut, if you want to fussy cut these, you've got all the options there to be able to do that. So I've done a little bit of work ahead of time here because obviously it does take time to do all the die cutting and the colouring so I just wanted to show you this panel here this is in the main concept set and you've got a panel that cuts you this shape out and you'll get three individual pieces from each one okay so that literally cuts so I've used my stamping card again and then I have literally coloured them with some of my Harmony ink pads and then I've used the stamp you can see here that little spotty stamp there just to stamp over the top in another colour so I wanted it to be nice and bright and fun this for a birthday one and I've done that twice all right I needed six pieces of those so I've got those for my roof so we've got one two three four, five, six, and I've put those on some foam pads just to raise them up a little bit. And then from the stamp set, I had a ball with this, I've got all sorts going on here. You can see where I've actually cut out, I've stamped and cut out some of the presents there. So I've got some of those on the go with the little bow to go with it there, you can see. The door and the window is part of your master set. So you can see here, we've got the doors and windows going on. So again, I've cut these out and coloured them in to match the theme. I've also done loads of the balloons. This one was the, you get the three separate pieces. So you can have a one, two or three tier cake going on. And I've stacked mine up ready and I've got the little candle ready to go on. And then I've also just used the die from the set here to cut a couple of banners. You can see this one's matches the set here. And again, you get the stamp to match that. If you want to stamp over the top of it, you can. So many different ways of doing this. So then, all we've got to do then is pretty much decorate. So let's have a look then. I've actually run these through my sticky maker so that we could do this nice and quickly. So on the front then, we're going to put the little doorway to one side on the front here. So these are already sticky and the door normally would open up, but because I've put it through the sticker maker, it's actually got tacky on the back of it, but you can actually leave the door to open if you wish. Aww. And then I'm going to put one of the windows on each end. So we've got a little window going on here and I've gone mainly pinks, purples and sort of that turquoisey colour for this one. I don't think I'd make a very good builder because my window looked a bit wonky at that end. It's got character. Yeah, not so bad, is it? No. And then literally, however you want to work, you know, it doesn't, there's no right or wrong with this. You can build it up as much. I mean, it's a giant present. That can I'd be side really of the happy door. You that. could actually fit yourself in there, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, but who cares? Who cares? And then we're going to stack these up. So we've got a couple of presents going on at the front. And I think we'll have um, balloons at the front as well. We've got, um, we'll go for a pink one there. And the little trail here, this is part of the die set as well. So we'll put one of those above the door. And then on this side, we're going to have another little present down here. And we might have another balloon on that side. And, you know, I just stamp loads of these out and colour them. And you use what you use. And if you don't use them, I just, just pop them as they are in my packet so that I've got them for if I wanted to do something the next time. And then this side, I thought we'd have that lovely, yummy birthday cake going on. Look, it's nearly as big as the window, look. We'll put him on here. And then we've got the little tiny candle there. Look, so cute to go on the top there. Mm. Okay. 
So I don't know whether we need, I'm, I'm not going to decorate, you can decorate the back if you wish, but I'm just going to do the three sides here. Oh, I think we'll go with another balloon on there to match. We'll go with the turquoisey one to go on there as well. I feel as if we need a bit more balloon going on. Um, just on there. And then these ones, literally, I've just put foam pads on the back of here. These are going to stick into this section of the roof. So one, two, they should just be enough to fit all the way along there. So you can stick them flat, you could put them on with your glue gun, you could put them on with your 3D glue gel again. Yeah, there's so many different ways. Go with what works for you. As I say, there's no right or wrong with this. Go with colour schemes that you like, or if you're doing it for someone in, uh, in particular, a colour scheme that they like. They're just a bit of fun, and they're great for, once we get back up and running again and we can actually see people again, they'd be great for making little party bags and party boxes mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And then I think maybe across the back, we'll put the banners on the back, seeing as we've not got anything on there. So again, I'll just put a little bit of wet glue on the back of these. I wasn't sure whether I was going to mount them on um, foam, which is why I didn't run them through my sticker maker, but uh, we'll just do them with glue on there. Onto that one, we'll cross those over like so. I feel as if I need a balloon on. I said I wasn't going to decorate the back, but seeing as we've got a, we'll have one of those on there, look. Okay, and then just to finish off, you've actually got in your master die set you have got the banner here Fab. and then in the stamp set you've got the happy birthday so i've literally just stamped that out popped a little bit of foam on the back of there as well and we're going to put that across the top of the roof here to say happy birthday and then i've just got one last little bow that i decorated to go up at the top here oh. and can you just see how fun they are and this still opens up we've not we've not closed any of the closure part here we just pop these off and you've literally got room to put a nice little gift or some sweeties or whatever it is you want to gift in there and as I say as long as you've used something you, that you know you can rely on for sticking you've got a nice sturdy little gift box there which is just i think they're just so much fun oh, so literally okay. just used all those embellishments you know put as much or as little on as you wish mm. okay thank but you absolutely so gorgeous much. but how different do they look that one was one that's been done with the uh, the beach theme but don't they look different completely different yeah, yeah. I think they're fab thank you so they're much so clever, for aren't they? that. and obviously it depends on what theme you put on might negate what you put inside yeah. they're wonderful aren't they and they're not the only fabulous things we have on the show for you today if you head on over to our website you will be able to see the decorative box die collection now this collection is huge mungus it's absolutely i love fantine it's got everything in it that you're going to need to create your boxes and your crafting pieces throughout the year lots of different designs there all you have to do is head on over to the website go on shop the show and then all of the show products that we've got on today will be available now let me remind you this collection here has got so much in it. We've got the picnic box, your milk carton, the infinity box, decorative elements, candy store, life's a beach, garden shed, sweet cupcake, your special day, love and roses, home sweet home, and your birthdays parade. I mean, there's oodles in there. And I do want to remind you as well that you should have been paying in the UK uh, just shy of £185 for you today, though. As you can see there, you're getting it for £82. But don't forget, that's already over 50% saving. But don't forget, you've got an extra 5% off. Oh, yeah, all day today and tomorrow. So if you do want to seize the moment, Saturday and Sunday this weekend, we have got an extra 5% off all of those shop items. So do treat yourself today if you so wish. It is Saturday, and you know what that means. Play your crafts. Right, it's my first one. What, what should I expect, Jan? My first one a couple of weeks ago, right. and we had a ball. Oh. It's just a bit of fun, honestly. You'll love it. Oh, I'm excited. 
So let me explain to you how this works. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Rebecca Redikin, but you can call me Becky. You can also call me Team Facebook. If you're on Facebook, then uh, thanks. You're part of my team. Um, oh, a sign. Is that just, just shimmy it across here. Look at that professional oh, look at that. as ever. <laughs> Team Facebook, and we've got Jan, who oh, is... Oh, YouTube, honestly. Oh, I love it. Look at this. So what, what we're going to do today is we're going to play the item recall. So in this one, depending on which one of us wins, by the way, depends on where our five lucky winners are chosen from. So if I win... Uh, then five winners of Facebook will be chosen and you can win £10 or $10 dependent. And again, the same if um, lovely Jan over there wins. So we're going to have two rounds to this game and it's kind of item recall. How is your memory for this sort of thing, Jan? Not as good as it used to be. I must right. admit, as the older I get, I blame it on how much stuff I've got filed away in there. But yeah, it's getting worse as I get older. So I'm not sure about this one today. I will try my best. Well, it's the only thing that's going to give me a fighting chance. Is it? Have you got yes, a good memory? No, no, it's horrendous. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. Oh, yeah, I couldn't dear. tell you what I had for breakfast. Oh. <laughs> So, crafting recall we're doing, it's about memories and we are going to be shown some items and then we will be asked some questions relating to these Ooh. items. I need to get my board. Now, I need you to get involved on social. We've got our whiteboards here ready. Uh, uh, mine says, Becky's team Facebook, probably wrong answer board. <laughs> um, so, Where's your positivity? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there is positivity, but there is also realistic expectations, and that's what I'm going for, Jan. Uh, don't worry, Team Facebook, I will try my best for you. So we're going to be having a look at a few items, and then we've got some questions. Oh, right. So, are you ready? Don't forget, get involved on social, send us in those messages. Any words of encouragement? Are we ready? We're going to look at an image for 20 seconds. We're not allowed to make any notes, obviously. No, nope, I've put my pen down. Um, and you've got to try and remember these items. Let's do it. Oh. Interesting. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, oh man. What's that in the top corner? I can't see it. Oh, man. How many of you remember Jan? Oh, Jan's in the zone. Oh, my goodness. Not made any notes, no. Are we ready for the first question? Why? Oh, no, I've just realised. Are you going to ask a question about where they're ordered? No. All right. Okay, cool. Just what's in them. All right. All right it's question yeah. one. Oh. Question number one. So we're going to have the first question, but also you're going to be able to hear my producer reading these out in... Georgina, I'd like it if it could be quite a dramatic manner, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'll try. Okay, right. So go on. Question number one. How many Gemini machines are shown? Okay. We just need the number. Just the number, yeah? Just the number. Okay. I may give bonus points if you get them. Oh, I don't know what the other one was. Right, done it. Yeah. Have you got it at home? Don't forget, we've got Winner's Circle coming up in a bit. You've gone landscape with yours. Like are you ready it. for question number two? We're ready. Oh, are we doing them all together? Right, OK. Yeah, go on. How many Spectrum Noir products are there? Oh, my days. <sighs> right. Spectrum Noir products. OK. Can I do picture one? 
Is that the right answer then? There must have been more than one. Maybe there wasn't, Jan. It's hard to say. Oh. Hard to say. Did I have no. to press you for an answer, Jan? Okay, I've put an answer. Yep. You ready, Georgina? Question number three. Number three. How many adhesives were shown? Oh, flipping heck. Oh, you're kidding me. I believe in you both. Thank you for the completely unsubstantiated confidence. I really do not know this one. <sighs> go hard or go home. Right. I'm sorry, Facebook, I think I've got that really wrong. Mm. Oh, our crafters are doing very well. I bet. Ready for the next question? Ready when you are. How many female experts are there? The amount of concentration. Oh, Jan's confident in that one. <laughs> I can tell. Are you ready for your fifth and final question of round one? Yep, ready. What is the name of the discovery kit? Oh. Oh my days. This is so much more stressful than bingo. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty good with the dabber. It's not easy, is it? No, I haven't got a clue. I'm not confident uh, on that? question two. What is the name of the discovery? So you've already answered this question. Yeah, I not think it's, it's got, I think there's more to it than what I've written though. I'll it's just a you, simple I name. I don't even remember seeing one on there. <laughs> That's my problem. Right, ladies, do you have all five answers to the questions? Yes. Yeah. So the first question was, how many Gemini machines are shown? Please show your answers. I put three. Three machines. The I even answer named was them. three machines. Yes! yes! Do right. I get extra points for naming them? That's the What did you name? Did you get I them? named the Gemini, Me the too. Gemini Go. Me too. And the Gemini Mini. Mini, was that you as well, oh, Becky? I put Mini, Junior and Go. It's not right, that is it? I don't know. So oh, I'll Gemini do bonus Mini, points Gemini there. Gemini. We'll do half a point for the names. Half a point? Half a point. What, for all three names? Yes. So that's one and a half. Sorry, Facebook. I'm half behind. It's all right, we, we've got this. There's plenty of time. Yeah. I'm not confident about number two. Right, go on then. Question number two was, how many Spectrum Noir products are there? The answer was two. Oh, Yay! I nearly changed it yeah. to two as well. I went for two. Yeah. I could remember the discovery kit and I could, I'd focused on everything else. So, uh-oh. Okay. Right, That's so a point for Becky. Yes. Okay. Question number three. How many adhesives were shown? I the answer was... Three. Four. Oh, oh no. We were smack bang in Do the middle. Do you know, I knew I there'd be a, I nearly wrote a tape pen down. I thought there's got to have been a tape pen in there. I put, I even got what the size on the, the red liner tape. I'm sure it said 12 mil. You don't get extra points, No, Jan. no, that's it. No more <laughs> so bonus that's points. Wrong. Yeah. Did you get that right? No, I got five. Oh. So currently oh, there's half a point between you with Jan in the lead. Oh. Okay, Next okay. question. How many female experts are there? I put three. I put three. The Sarah, answer was Leanne, three. And Bill. Yes. yes. So it's all down to this last one. Which, by the way, I've not got. Oh. So, what is the name of the discovery kit? I put mandala. What did you have, Becky? Floral. Masterful mandalas. I knew there was oh! something else went with it. Because of technicalities, you both don't get it, but Jan takes round one. Oh, oh Jan! Nice oh. work. Oh, man. Right, okay, don't worry. I've still got, we've still got a chance, Team Facebook. Well done, Jan. Thank you. That was heartily deserved. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Your face is lit up. I know. Absolutely lit up. 
Right, don't worry, Team Facebook, I have still got a chance to pull this back for you, all right? I have, I have. I'm going to have a go. <laughs> Do keep your messages coming through. I've had loads through today. It's lovely seeing you. Um, and I do think that a lot of people did think you were going to win that jam, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. oh, heck, I'm knocking everything about now. Oh, you are ready. Now, whilst we get ready for our next demo, we want to show you some things that are coming up later on in the day. Now, coming up on the craft house, which starts at seven, I've got some brand new Dreamies. Now, Dreamies, if you don't know, wonderful brand mother and daughter duo setting this up in the uk around about 11 years ago and this is a brand that works with loads and loads of different crafting mediums and techniques so we have got coming up for you new stamps later on in the seven o'clock show you can see the wonderful florals there the buzzy bees and much more so we have got that and a little sneaky hint, you're going to be learning how to make that piece there with the Wellington on in a little bit. Just to the side of those, we have got some wooden windows. Now these are MDF, again, new from Dreamies. You're going to be getting a, a selection of those. And um, that's, uh, as you can see, what we've used to create that window design. But as we will, I'm sure, discuss later on, there's loads and loads you could do with them. Underneath them, we have got a craft at work MDF sign. So if you've seen on like lots of, you know, Etsy shops and Instagrams, you see all of these handmade signs, don't you? Yeah, well, we've got them there so that you can decorate them to look exactly as you wish. This again coming up for you tonight, don't forget. So you get all three of them in that set and you can obviously use the words however you wish. So those ones coming up for you later again, the new dreamies. We've got these adorable bird houses, but they could be used for a multitude of different things, really. You could pop little photographs in them. They could be really cute, maybe for doing little beach huts and much more. You get a set of them, and in that pack, there's enough to make three of those bird houses. So you're getting loads in it, you really are. And very simple to put together, but very effective too. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the scalloped shape hearts. These are in MDF, they're around about five mil in thickness. So although they're lightweight, they're really nice and sturdy. And again, in that pack, you're going to get three of them. So you could use all three together for one big design, couldn't you? Or three individual hangers if you wanted. And then we've got your Every Bunny Welcome. This is going to be demoed later on in the show at seven o'clock. And not only do you get the bunnies, you get the sentiments, you get the struts to hold it together, and then you actually get the circle, at the back circle and the base, again, in your MDF. Really nice, sizable piece this is. I think it would be great for um, events, weddings, but also just really nice for your home, you know, welcoming everyone to your home when that time does happen again for us all. So a really lovely make there for you. Again, coming up in the seven o'clock show this evening. So that is not too far away for you. And again, you can treat yourself to it. Let me just remind you, if you're gonna head onto the web, we can do so. And these are some more of the Dreamies treats. So these are the new stamps. These are some of the MDF products as well. And all of that, you can just go and shop the show. And please let me remind you, an extra 5% off uh, on these treats too. So you're getting a real selection of goodies. So do feel free to treat yourself to your heart's content on that. We've got plenty more to come. And one of my favorite things, of course, the demoing. So we've already done a demo with one of the decorative boxes. But before the second round of um, Play Your Crafts, right, so I can sort of get myself in the zone again. Uh, let's have another demo. What box are we going to look at this time? Carton next, Becky, all right? So sort okay. of I've gone through them in, in order that they came to me on the list. So I didn't have to choose which ones to do first. So milk carton then, just a different style of box, excuse me. <coughs> so you've actually got sort of literally, you know, just like the old little cartons that you used to buy. Yeah. Uh, and again, all those kits, including the one that I used earlier with the picnic box, all these accessory kits can be used with any of the boxes. Yeah. So they all mix and match. There's not one per specific 
specific box. You could do the garden shed on the picnic box. You could do the happy birthday one that I did on this box. So again, we get that master die, so that concept die to make the sides of the box. And again, filled with all those extra pieces of metal again. You've got those roof panels again and all the other bits. Now I'm going to cut a stage out this time because you saw me cut through these when we did the first demo. So again, we're going to take this one. I've used craft card this time and you're going to cut two pieces of craft card with that master die and again you've got your set of instructions in here with pictures and the written instruction in there as to how to get it into an actual box so I've taken that and I've cut twice okay with the concept die so you've got two pieces that look the same and all I've done is I've taken my ink and just inked around the edges to define those edges on the box. Now it goes together very similar to what we did. If you saw me do that first demo, it goes very similar. All right, so I'm going to pop the tape on this side this time just to show you that it works either way. I had the tape on the inside last time, but whichever way you want to do it, on that glue tab, you're going to need some kind of adhesive. Now I prefer to use red line tape but if you want to use a wet glue I would be using the tacky glue or you could use your hot glue gun if you want that real fast uh, adhesion there so with the bases it asks you to take it to the inside and you've got this little triangle section here once you've scored everything and you're literally going to fold that and stick it to the base of the box so we're going to create a nice angle on the outside and stick this bit inside so I'm going to use my tape pen this time because these are very very strong so on the triangle there I'm just going to load that up with some of the double-sided tape and then literally as if you were making a box corner just line up that edge there so you've created that sort of half of your box already and then on this one we're going to do exactly the same so i've got that tape that corner again put the tape or your chosen glue on to the corner and then literally line up your edges as if you were making a box corner and give it a little rub and you can see now that we've got the two halves of the box that with those extra glue tabs are literally just going to stick together so if we take the tape off here the, the liner tape off this one get rid of it off your finger jar I thought it, I thought it had landed in my cup of coffee then <laughs> goodness me there we go and then we're literally I'm going to add an extra layer of glue on the inside just to give it sort of make it really sturdy and I'm going to use the Kalal because that sets so well it sets really firm it allows you to then because I think this one's a nice size for just dropping maybe a nice little scented candle in or something like that so literally, you're going to put the two pieces inside each other, but at the same time, we're going to line up this edge as well and this one. So just slot it over the top, like so. And I've got my taped edges on the inside here, and I'm literally going to line them up and stick down those edges. And the same at this side, line them up and stick them down and then what I tend to do is take something that's a little bit longer so I've got my longer bone folding tool or a paintbrush or something give it a good press down on the bottom so that glue adheres just got a little bit of a little bit seeped out there and then where you've put the tape in I like to just burnish that down to make sure it's stuck down nice and well so again, once we've got this in shape, you can see we've got that bit here. You can see we've got the top section. There are diagonal lines, which once you actually start to push, you'll see that it encourages those to fold in the right place. And I'm just going to squeeze that top bit together until this bit meets. And you can see there we've got that lovely shape of your little milk carton. Okay so again decoration time so this time I love this one this is the candy store and honestly there's all sorts in here so again if we take them out you have got stamps to create windows and canopies you've got the bubblegum machine the lollipops you've got mm. sweets in there this one's to decorate the roof panels again so again we've got that piece here and you just need the four panels this time so again I've gone ahead and pre-done these and I cut these out of some textured cardstock 
dark and then I've used that lovely stamp here mm. to just add some extra detail I just wanted that sort of lined shutter so let's pop those on first again I've put some um, foam pads on the back so we'll bring this one back into play here so these are going to go on this front section here so I'm just going to put all four of those on and they'll just fit in there nicely they just overhang the front they're a little bit longer I'm lining them up with that one that's going to turn slightly back on itself so that's going to be the top section and then again I have stamped out loads of pieces ready had a ball sack colouring them in while I was watching TV the other night and you can see we have got um, if I go back to the stamp set there you can see we've got the window panel there and I've done some of the canopies so we're going to put a window and a canopy on each end for the box so those are just to stick in and then again through my sticky maker we've actually got lots and lots of the pieces so all the cakes and sweet treats and things the door comes from your master die set so again however you want to do this however you want to sort of put it together and then it literally is just a case of having a bit of fun so i'm going to pop um a, do a door a window panel and a canopy on each end and then we'll put the, the, the sweet treats to decorate so on there so that one's going to go on there again you can put these on foam pads if you wish I'm just going to stick with the glue for now on here so we've got that over the front there they just they look so real okay and then the same at the other side we're going to put this one on and again, you know, all these work, you know, this like the one on the picture on the, uh, the packaging shows you the garden shed, you could use the beach themed one, it could be the happy birthday, you know, they all mix and match. You can even use elements, if you've got them as a whole set, you can actually mix and match the elements on one particular project. So you might want to put a couple of presents on here from the other one, along with the details for the sweet store. So I've made the little doorway, again, that one's going to go on the front there and we've got um, we'll have the little sweetie jar again there's a bit of disproportion going on here because that sweetie jar is only just going to fit through that doorway but who cares it's about my size that who cares honestly that. so again i've got some of those little peppermint wheels i've got a couple of little um sweeties there and we'll go on to this side i've got um the cake we'll put the cake at the bottom again as much or as little as you wish you've got the little candy canes going on okay at the other side we'll put the bubblegum machine on i love this one look put him there and these have all been colored with my um alcohol markers um we'll have another candy cane on that side we'll have a little sweet up on the canopy there wherever you want them you know there's no right or wrong and I'm going fast obviously you can go much slower than this at home we've got a lollipop there we've got this one I did this one and popped a little bit of glossy accents just on there to make it shiny oops a daisy a little bit overzealous there so again you know as much I'm not going to put them all on as I say I tend to just stamp out loads and use them as you wish yeah. and then when you're finished squeeze it together and in that main one you get the tag to cut out the tag shape in the stamp set you've got the stamp sweet treats and I'm literally just going to tie this now through the top the holes are already punched in it for you and this one's just going to tie it together now just to bring that piece as a closure once you've put your goodies whether they're going to be sweet so as I say this one's a nice size to fit uh, a nice little candle in there whoops there we go with a bow and then that's our milk carton just put together there ready it that's wants to just fab. be tied a little bit tighter there at the top but again however you wish to decorate it is entirely up to you how you do it what color scheme you do it what base card stock but again milk carton versus the picnic box that we did at the top of the show they okay, are dokes. fabulous i love the idea of getting one of those opening it up and seeing loads of sweets or 
homemade truffles, bonbons, things like that. I was making me hungry. <laughs> um, anyway, if you do fancy getting these, this is how you're going to buy your decorative box dies. You're heading on over, you're shopping the show, and you're getting the Gemini decorative box die collection, and you're saving way over 55% with that extra 5% off. I will just let you know that there are smaller bundles available, and if you head on over to the web, you can see them there as well. Okay, it's time. Is it time? Time. It's time for the next round. Don't Let forget, me just put those to one playing, side. Uh, play your crafts right. <laughs> And uh, just to let you all know, you can play along at home. I want to know what scores you're getting at home. Let us know on social. This is the second and final round. And if you have just tuned in, hi, thanks for joining us. Um, we are playing for you. I am team Facebook. Jan is team YouTube. YouTube. And uh, we Is this the same picture, Becky, or have we got a different picture? I haven't a clue. You Please know as much we've as not I got do. to remember everything, have we, from 15 minutes? minutes ago mm, I'm not sure Stiff oh thank goodness for intense. that um so what we're going to be doing is looking at a grid of pictures that we have to remember we will then be answering some questions to do with those I lost the last round Jan a very successful winner but I can still, just I can still draw it back I'm poised I'm ready. I'm ready I'm focused are you Jan I am I'm ready I've put my pen down so we've got 20 seconds to look at this no notes being taken <laughs> get remembering these products oh my goodness oh, I'm gonna have to get in closer I think oh my god That was close, wasn't it? Ooh. I had to. Fast. Fast. <laughs> Good job we've got that makeup on. Um, <laughs> sorry, I had to get in closer then. I couldn't read it quite far away. Okay. Right. How are you feeling? Confident? Oh, I don't know. I'm like I think confident. that was harder, that one. There was a, a right mix on there. I agree. Okay, let's get these questions in. We're also going to have the wonderful voice, the dramatic <laughs> voice of my producer reading out these questions, just to add a sense of occasion. Okie pokely, so this is round two. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Yes, we're ready. Question number one. How many people were wearing glasses? Oh my days. Catch yourself on. Are you joking? Oh my. No. <laughs> um. okay. Question number two. Yeah. How many storage items were there? Oh. One. You're writing an essay. <laughs> Question are you, are you number to get three. Points, Jan? Oh, me? You are, aren't you? Oh, no. I feel like I Jan's going the right on answer, the bonus so points worry. angle. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. So question number three, how many rocker blocks were shown? Now, can I just ask a question? Do you mean how many, like... Individual blocks. Not just how many zones. Sections, yeah. Right, okay, individual blocks. Okay. Right, cool, yeah. Number four. Question number four. Oh, you know that one, don't How you? many Gemini machines were shown? Oh, that one scuppered me. Oh, it's oh, hard, the isn't it? is palpable. It's hard. It is, yeah. Okay. Number five. And for your fifth and final question... What item is bottom right of the image? Oh, you're kidding me. That way. No, right. Bottom right. That's not right. He was on that. 
Bottom right. How big a grid was it? Four by four? Don't, yeah, being oh. told you can't tell you that. Bottom right. Well, was it, um, oh, wait, oh, 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 wait, no. bottom right oh, no. here. Bottom On right our from screen. my perspective. Okay, so it was over there. Right, know. I'm going to have to press you for an answer. I could tell you what was either side of it. Not, not the question. <laughs> oh, no. I know this is wrong. I'm sorry, Team I'm going to stick with my... Right, I, I know that's not the right answer, but I'll put it down anyway. Okay. So, answers at the ready. For yep. question number one, we asked you how many people were wearing glasses. The answer is two. Yay! Oh! I put three because I included Joe. I can never remember whether Joe's got his glasses on or not. Oh dear. He so, did in that picture. That's didn't a he? point for Becky. Are you ready with question number two? Yes. How many storage items were there? The I answer. Put, oh. oh, go on, tell me. I put two. Jan? I put two. Incorrect. The answer was three. The craft. I thought tote. I asked that one as well. Yeah. Oh, we're not doing very well, Becky. Oh. Question number three, we asked you how many rocker blocks were shown. What do oh, you have? I put five. I also put five. The answer was six. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Should have known that, actually, because there's a pack of four and a pack of two. Oh. So far, we have Becky taking this round. Next question, we asked you how many Gemini machines were shown. I put three. I put two. Three takes it. Oh. It's all down to this one now, Jan, which I know I've got wrong. So I this could be well. winner takes all, Jan, if you get this one right. No, I don't think I'm right. I think was, this was the, the one above it. So we asked you, what item is bottom right of the image? What did you put, ladies? I put Craig, and I think he was the one above it. I'll be honest with you, I wanted to hedge my bets, and I put adhesive. Adhesive. Mm. The answer is builder block. Oh, right. So both oh. of us wrong there, then. Oh, that wasn't a very good round. So that was a tie in that round, and since Jan won the first round, Jan takes the title. Yay! Team, well done, you two yeah. win. Oh, well done. Thank you. Only by half a point, wasn't it? Oh, well, I'm sorry, Team Facebook. Oh. Well done. Hey, that were close, that. That was hard again, wasn't it? Yeah. Crikey. It was. Oh, well done. Well, uh, YouTube lot you are going to be heading in to the winner's circle and we'll let you know all about that we are heading now into the craft vault with that winner's circle again well done let us know how you've been doing let us know how you were doing there's loads of you messaging in it's lovely to see i'll get to some of them in a little bit so let me grab some treats for you if i may now i'm going to start off with nature's garden i'm just going to in the lift and we have got some real beauties in this collection so we have got oodles for all of you outdoor lovers anyone who loves maybe uh, you know nipping to your local park having a look around any of you who love sitting even just looking out at your garden at this time of year because it's a perfect time of year isn't it for all of this so i've got loads in this for you for you to be inspired by. You are going to be getting dies and stamps in here. You're getting plenty to have fun with. This one here is your beautiful um, butterflies that comes with the stamp that adds all the nice detail, but also it comes with the dies to cut them out of the appropriate sizes. As you can see, lots of different shapes and sizes on this one. And they could be really nice for your boxes that we've done as well. As well as that one, you're going to be getting a pack of six products in this one with that really big rose bloom flower. And again, 
I just flip it over, you'll be able to see you get the elements in here. Do you think that could be good for paper piecing, something like that? It could work quite nicely, couldn't it? You'll then get in lots and lots of your outside detail. And this is the wonderful framing that you're going to be able to get. So going to be great for your memory books, etc. It's your intricate lace that you get in there. So you're getting plenty that will work, obviously, wonderfully side by side with everything else you've got. If you want to shop this, let me show you how to do it. Should be nearly £53, but not today. Wait for it. 70% off. Yes, winner's circle. 70 percent off and don't forget you get the extra five percent off today today and tomorrow and um, so loads and loads of goodies to be able to treat yourself to but also save you money so if you do want to seize the moment on that then you absolutely can let me bring to you next your Knitwit Bloom with Grace collection. And boy, we're in the winner's circle. And this is a fabulous, versatile pack. Let me bring to you the thing that we always, always need and always run out of if it's anything like my house. You have got your glue tape pen. Nice and easy. If you are brand new, you've not seen this before, it is a really nice instant stick. You just take the lid off, use it as a swipe, and then you're ready and raring to go. I've also got for you the big card pads. Now, these ones are your 12 by 12s, and you have got a stellar amount of beautiful different looks on this one. That's your bold colour. And then you have also got the die cutting topper pad. There's so much in here. Again, I will show you these. So, here is uh, perfect for your personalization with the numbers and the lettering, uh, your butterflies and uh, your swans there and so much more. So let me show you the colors that you're gonna be getting in that main pad. So this again is your 12 by 12. You can see that these ones are double-sided. So you have the slight satin finish um, to each of these and you can use both sides of them and then ho, 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 how much fun are you gonna have with these you've got loads you've got be kind blissful dream and um, you've got lots of lovely sentiments in here as well as the different characters that you're getting look how gorgeous those swans are and they've even got a little detail there for where their wings are so there's so much in here there's one of those um uh, great for your card toppers, great for finishing off designs. So if you want to grab your hands on all of this, it's all in one bundle. Now, be honest, how much would you expect it to be? Because for me, if I'm looking at something like this, I'm around the £40 mark. Definitely for the 12 by 12 and so much and, and the glues and everything else, I'd be expecting about 40 quid. Today though, £25 only or $30 if you're shopping in the US. So that is a huge discount. But remember, take an extra 5% off it because today it's 5% off day. So if you do fancy that, do feel free to seize the moment for you. If you want to, do grab it. So I am bringing to you, next up, some numbers. Now the numbers that we're gonna bring to you are the wonderful 3D stamp. Um, numbers. These ones are get, got that really 3D look and effect to them. And you also get the ampersand within this one too, which I think is brilliant because if you're doing, um, you know, say a card, for example, to two different people, um, then it's going to really stand out and look beautifully bold. The great thing with these is if you are crafting, you're going to be able to make something completely unique and individual. So the other, uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was my grandma and granddad. 69th wedding anniversary. I thought it was their 68th, but actually it was their 69th. Um, could you find a card for that anywhere? Pfft, no chance. But with these, you can make your own. So it's great for all of those very special elements. These, the price of these has just made my producer go, oh my days. Um, the price on this is bonkers. Jan, you've seen the price. How would you expect? How would you describe what it? What you would expect it to be normally. Um, phew, I'd, as a collection. It I should be just over £27. In total. In yeah. total, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my days. £9. Or Plus Club Inspire discount. And Plus the extra, extra 5%. extra discount. Oh, my goodness. I feel like you should have sort of a, a swag bag, really. 
I think that is just totally and completely wonderful. You're going to absolutely adore those ones. So if you do fancy them, do seize the moment because that really is a steal of a deal. That's crazy. Even little rubber stamps numbers, you can pay more than that for. So these are fabulous. Um, let me try and bring you some more goodies now and we're going to go on over to some stamps. Anyone like a little tipple of Prosecco? Yeah? Well, let me show you because how excited are you to be able to ring up one of your friends and go, right, come on, it's Prosecco o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we have got for you your Prosecco o'clock stamp. This is just some made up samples to give you an idea. But as you can see, you've got the lovely moving arms on this one as well, so that you can change the time of this. Um, it's been created on this beautiful, uh, sturdy, sturdy card. But I'm just thinking of so many different events I could use that for. Would you use it for a birthday? Could you use it, do you think, just as a, you know, just to say hello um, kind of gift? I think that would be lovely. Maybe a nice little invite it would be lovely for too. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of wonderful ones within this. I've got to say, I do like this one. <laughs> How many times have people said that? Go on, be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, we have got plenty of goodies in here. Um, for you to create your own designs for those moments in the summer where we are able to meet up with our pals and enjoy these. So if you do have a Prosecco loving pal, this is how you're gonna get them. This is, don't forget, with a circle price. Look at that deal! Oh my days. Oh my gosh. Okay, so wait for it. Do you know a buy one, get one free is good, yeah? You know what's better than that? Buy two. Get four for free. Wow. That is your price point on that one today. Isn't that incredible? I love a bargain, me. And I could so think of loads of things for use for these ones. They're really good fun ones, those, I think. You know, just to cheer somebody up. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, you've been getting in touch on socials, which is always lovely. Um, hello to you all. Uh, we've had June in saying, hi, Becky. Great to see you again. Sorry, I made you sound like Tony the Tiger then. They're all great. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mary's in saying, hi, Becky and Jan. Happy Crafty Weekend. And the same to you. Um, we have had Sue in saying, Yodel has just delivered. My creator card dies. Guess what I'll be doing this weekend. Oh, lovely. All of a crafting weekend. Playtime. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lini, is it or Lene? Sorry, I pronounced your name incorrectly, but said, um, Jan, I want to thank you for changing the way I make cards after you did the glue school. Oh. I purchased um, the Colorol Purpose and um, I now mat and layer like there is no tomorrow. Excellent. I love the glue and thanks for explaining the different glues so clearly that even a non-English speaking person could understand it. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Yeah, really it does make a message. difference using the right glue. It does. And it's, I, it frustrates me when people say they can't do things, Becky, when more often than not, it's not the right choice of product for the job. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Make your life easier. Yeah. Uh, we've got loads of people saying hello. Oh, there's a Becky in. I like your name. Oh, uh, Becky says, hi, Becky, Jan and Crafty Crew. Late to the party as a box of goodies has just arrived. Oh, loads of us getting our delivery day. today. I love that. Um, we've got lots of people going, come on, team Facebook. Come on, team YouTube. Um, we've also got Rosalind in saying, so glad that CC now offers Dreamies, as I used to order directly, but now I get points. Of course. Of yep. course you do. That's yep. a great way of thinking of it. Linda says, yay, Jan, what a great sport Becky is, unlike the sulky boys. Oh. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. The sulky boys. Oh, that's going to stick, isn't it? I like that. <laughs> I like that too. We can get them with that one. <laughs> and uh, just quickly before we carry on, um, Carrie has asked a question, if that's all right, Jan. Yes, of course. What do, did you use to colour the candy store accessories? They are lovely. I use my alcohol markers. They are a go-to. I must admit, I love alcohol alcohol colouring so I think it was the tri blends that I used on those because those are the ones that I have out on my desk so they're sort of within reach um, we've got the illustrators coming up on one of the shows later on the craft house so you can get a bargain with some of those later but yeah more often than not I stamp in a waterproof ink and then 
actually colour with my alcohol markers. Most of it done on either stamping card. You want a smooth card stock to actually work with your alcohol markers. But you could do them just the same with your colouring pencils if you prefer pencils. You can use your inks to watercolour with. Just go for it. There's no, no set rule that you must or mustn't do. Perfect. Thank you for that. And thank you for all of your messages. I will read some more of those out in a little bit. And of course, we've got the winners. Um, so we have got loads more treats and goodies coming up. And we're going to be doing a demo, aren't we? Now, we are. Jan? I'm going to go to one of those. Well, I'm going to combine a couple of items, actually, that we've got on the show today. So we've got that lovely uh, bundle from Beautiful Butterflies. And honestly, it named a accordingly they are absolutely gorgeous so i've just chosen two of the products from that section and then we're also going to mix and match it with some cardstock and some elements from that bloom with grace the knitwit pad and uh, toppers so i'm sort of going to do a little bit of both so i'll come back to the stamp set in a second i just want to i mean this you know it's beautiful butterflies but there is particularly nothing butterfly about it this will transfer across all your crafting and it is a lovely i'm just going to see if we've got a size on there uh it normally gives yeah just just about six by four inches and then you've got this the piece inside that cuts away it's got a cutting edge all the way around so this piece comes out so you can either stamp in here it would make a great aperture for a shaker card you could actually put a small photo in there if you wanted to make it into a frame so i'm going to cut that and show you what that looks like just to start off with and then we'll come to the rest of it so again i've just got some pink cardstock and this is from that pad uh the knitwit bloom with grace pad so I've just taken a piece of pink out of there and then we'll put this on i'm not going to use the metal plate initially i think it should be okay without but i tend to sort of try it without and then if it hasn't cut i'll add the metal shim because the reason i do it that way around is if you don't need the metal shim a it's less wear and tear on your shim and b it doesn't apply too much pressure when you don't need the pressure so try it with your normal cutting sandwich first if you're using the Gemini and then if there's areas that haven't cut for whatever reason you can always pop that metal shim in afterwards so if I just turn this over I'm fairly certain yeah that we've got that through and you can see that piece has come out so you could be saving that to do some stamping on or a sentiment on later we'll take that bit that scrap and then the quickest way if I can just find oh, my dye brush, we'll pop all those bits on there and then I can get rid of them. With something that's got so many little pieces in like this, this is the quickest way I find of getting them all out. And then pop that one through. Okay. And then just use one of the release holes just to take and just gently release that from the die. So again, if we just pop that onto some white cardstock there, absolutely gorgeous. You've got that lovely filigree edging on it. And as I say, that would go across any of your crafting. It doesn't have to be specific to this collection. So what I've actually done with that is I've die cut it and you know me, I never do anything the normal way. I have to do something different. So I've literally <laughs> cut it. I've chopped it in half and I've just chopped a little bit out of the middle because I didn't need the extra width on it. Yeah. All right. So that's where I've got to. I've got my card blank, which is slightly normal, uh, slightly more than normal. It's eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. All right, just for the size of what I was working with. I've matted and laid some more of that pink cardstock and then that lovely dark chocolate brown, which is also in your paper pad. So again, we'll pop that on the bottom. And then also in that Bloom with Grace bundle, you have got your topper pad as well. So for the focal point on here, I've taken what some of the toppers, I think my tape, do you know, whenever I come here, I always end up with my tape pens running out. There well, we thankfully, go. we've had some on the show. I know. I've always got a good supply of them because I, I use them so much. Oh, me too. But they nearly always end up. Tracy will be like, do you need another one? Do you need another one? I said, no, I've got a spare. So if my spare runs out, I'm in trouble. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's going to be my matten layer. And then I've taken, this piece is actually out of the, uh, the paper pad. So one of the strips, they just pop out along with part of one of the border dies. And then I've added from my own stash, a little bit of lace along the bottom there. Uh, so I'm actually going to layer these up like so. So I just want a tiny bit of glue along the top edge of there. Oops, not a very straight line, Jan. And then I want to just secure this so that we've got the lace over the pink border strip. Okay. Just, only just overhanging it. It'll stick down better when I put it onto the, uh, the card. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop, the reason I've cut this is because I wanted to pop it behind here and it was just a little bit too wide in its entirety but I want to have it sort of like so. Lovely. So I'm going to swap over to my um, dotty tape pen now just to put some adhesive, that's not plain, I'll stick that down when I put it onto the card, onto the back of here. Okay, so again just light pressure and apply that any of your intricate die cuts this is just a wizard it's magic in a tape runner mm -hmm. just goes on there but nothing nothing underneath. nothing underneath so again i'm just going to center this about so far down and i think by the time we've got that one and that one yeah we're good same on this one little bit of the dots out it's the same double-sided tape as what we have in our original tape runner it's just in dot form and it's brilliant for this particular job so again we'll line that one up and you can see now why i trimmed it because it was just a little bit too wide there was more of it showing in its full uh, piece than what i wanted so let's pop this is not that that one didn't stick very well because there was so little of it to to stick to so I'm going to pop the band down first so this is one of the border strips out of the uh, out of the paper pad so I've just literally popped that out of the paper pad and then this one was one of the toppers out of that pad as well and then we'll come to the stamp set to decorate so I've actually done some of this ahead of time for you so that we've got plenty to show you so again that's going to be the main topper element of the the card and then in here, let me just have a bit of a clear up like my husband does like this. Yep. <laughs> in here, we've actually got, again, you've got double whammy. You've got beautiful, and the, the name in this one is perfect because they are beautiful butterflies. Okay. Five different ones there. And then you get the metal work. There should be five. I suspect the other one's lurking in the bottom of the packet to cut out the, uh, the butterflies if you wish. So I chose to do this one. And again, exactly the same. Stamped it out and coloured it with my um, aqua markers. Uh, aqua markers. Alcohol. alcohol. Mm -hmm. Coloured it with my alcohol markers there, just to confuse everybody. And then I've chose one of the smaller ones. So just some of the pinks there, just to colour it in. And then I stamped this one a second time. And I've just cut round that inside layer to give it a little bit of uh, dimension. You mm -hmm. see how the, the wings actually pop up a little bit so we're going to just use these as decoration now so we're going to have one of them at the bottom here and I didn't actually put any tape on so we'll use some usually I put a bit of tape on those but we'll put that one at the bottom give that chance to just grab and then we're going to cut with the smaller one at the top there like so so that's going to be my main i didn't want to cover up too much of this because it's got some gorgeous uh, printing on it from the the picture and then i've taken one of the little pop out elements here that says be kind which i think is a really nice sentiment we're going to pop that really? one just just want to tuck that under the edge of there and then I like to do the insides as well. So I've just taken a bit more of that um, brown card stock, piece of white stamping card, an extra one of the butterflies, what was left over from that border strip and just created a nice little mat for you to actually put your um, greeting on when you want to write a, a message in there. So this one's going to go 
bring that back over here. We're going to pop that one inside. It also helps strengthen, not that there's a problem with the 300 GSM card, but if ever you have any worries that with, especially with top full cards, you get them and the, I know Ali Ann calls them giraffe legs. You know, when your card yes. does this on the mantelpiece, yes. it helps strengthen the back of it to add a bit of, because you've got all the weight, weight. at the front, mm. by popping a little bit inside as well gives you that chance for it to stand. It's on my glass mat here, uh, but it will stand up. That's okay. so wonderful. So just a combination there using a couple of those elements that we've got on offer today for you. And how expensive does that card look? But of course you've been able to recreate that very inexpensively because it is in our bargain treat um, package today. So let me just remind you, these are the treats you're getting. So you've got the nature's garden there, which comes with the dies, the stamp should be nearly 53 pounds. £15.89 for you today and let me remind you extra 5% off and that's kind of incredible isn't it especially if you are brand new today and you're getting that with your first order 20% off anyway or if you're you know part of our um platinum squad then you've got the 20% off with the extra 5% off let me remind you though the 5% off does end tomorrow so do seize the moment on it whilst you can lots of you have been in touch with us today which is so nice it's lovely to see you um we did have a question actually Jan um from Eleanor which is a little bit about something we've got coming up on the show at seven um, she said can the birdhouse be used outside or is it just for decoration uh, it is made of MDF, so once you've decorated, if you wanted to put it outside, it would need a decent coat of some kind of lacquer. Now, our spray and shine, which comes in the aerosol cans, is a varnish in the spray can, but it's not actually a waterproof one, so I would recommend giving it a good coat of some kind of outdoor waterproof go um, treatment and then I don't see why not as long as it wasn't out in heavy rain or anything like that as long as the paper was protected I don't see why not but I know I've got um, a big gazebo over my decking outside at the back because I'm not one for sitting out in the sun but I love being outside so to have it somewhere in there that was a little bit protected I don't think it would be a problem at all but it would need some kind of protective coating on it the paper wouldn't survive outside if you would painted it Again, you need to protect the wood so that once the wood gets wet, it will swell and it will damage it. So it needs some protection. Perfect. Well, thank Excuse you me. so much for that advice. And uh, yeah, they really are adorable. And if you want to see them mocked up, then that's seven o'clock show for you. Um, lots of people in saying congratulations. <laughs> Val has said, well done, Jan and Becky. You both did better than me. Um, so Val, thank you very much for that. And again, I'm sorry, Team Facebook. I must try harder next time. Um, so yes, we, of course, with the wonderful Jan being the winner of Play Your Crafts Right, your team, you YouTube winners have been sent through to me and there are five of you each of you getting either ten pounds or ten dollars dependent on where you're from so my first winner is Leela Hayes snaps for Leela excellent I've also got Winnabeth S Winnabeth oh lovely I well have said done. that right haven't I Winnabeth <gasps> Winnabeth is such a good name. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I feel like Winnabeth's got a beauty spot just above her lip. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, Dawn Nordstrom, you are our third winner. Excellent. Congrats well to done, you. Dawn. We have also got Barbara Raskowski. I hope I've pronounced that right. Barbara Raskowski, Excellent. you are a winner also. Yeah. And finally, the last one. Louise Wilson. Well done. Excellent. Round of applause yeah. to all of you. Any of um, if you were one of those winners, you need to get in touch with us so we can get that money to you. So do send on your um, emails to the prize um, email address. It's prizes, prizes at crafterscompanions.com. One more time, that's prizes at crafterscompanion.com if you are one of those five winners and congratulations and thanks to everyone who messaged in and took part with us as well um so we've got another demo <laughs> and this time 
we're going to be featuring the dreamies now the dreamies we're going to be doing at seven o'clock tonight and we are going to be launching so much in there we're launching mdfs we're launching papers we are also launching these wonderful mess boards and i'm so excited to see these in action jan tell us a little bit about these please honestly these are such a terrific idea i hadn't seen these before until i got my little package arrive and i just thought what a brilliant idea you get two Two sets in here you get your a4 one and your little a6 one and they are essentially pieces of MDF that have been cut to size to make your frame and then you get a lovely little mylar mat which is brilliant for using your inks if you're using uh, anything messy on there and all these do are one they're built together with the X the sides I'm just going to pop the little one together for you the mat just slots inside you can see where the space is inside here and they just slot in and out for you to work on. Now, I was thinking when I looked at these, I thought, right, this is a better size for me to work on. I would be working this one as the messy mat. But wouldn't this make a gorgeous little photo frame Aww. if you decorated this up, you know, added some of your paints, added some of your decorations and had a little six by four photo in there. I think, you know, I have my grandson in there to pop on my craft desk. I just That's think it would cute. look beautiful. So I'm going to show you how to put, they both go together the same. I'm going to show you how to do the little one. So you get the two extra elements. Obviously the long one goes with your A4 mat and this one goes with your little A6 one. So again, just snap them apart all right the middle piece is the bottom and then we've got the side piece as you can see there all right so I'm going to take the mat out of the, the center for a second and you can see it's like a little jigsaw puzzle you can see the shaping where this one's going to fit here this one's going to fit at this side and this one's going to fit at this side and you would stick those down and then, because we're running out of time, I'm just going to place it for you to show you. But you can see once we've got those stuck down, and again, I would be using my um, tacky glue, or we've got some great wood glue coming up on the Dreamy Show later at uh, 7 o'clock tonight. So if you wanted that one, if you haven't got anything suitable, but if not, the tacky. And then literally glue on top of that frame again, and you would stick this one down. But what that's done now, when it's all put together, it's left a little tiny gap in the top for you to slot in your little messy mat or your if it was a photo you could actually change so you know this would once this is together this will slot in and out so you could literally change your photo on a weekly monthly however often you wanted to and just literally slot them in and out and I just thought that would be a terrific idea to work with and then the large one is exactly the same you can see how we've got that same format you can see we've got the pieces here for the sides let me just watch that up a little bit for you you can see there, you can see we've got the base part. And on here, we've got that one side, two sides and the base, just to lift it up a little bit. Then you have your top that would stick on. And then you've got your piece of mylar that would just slot in and out. Now, the other thing that I think this would be great for as well is if you're wanting to do some colouring, which I often do, like I have my stuff prepared for demoing, I often do a lot of my colouring at night. And I just think this would be excellent to pop your piece of um, A4 cardstock. I don't know what I did with my spare piece, but put your piece of cardstock in and have it secure for you to then sit with this on your knee in front of the telly and happily do your colouring away or if you're writing a letter or anything like that but you've got two of those in the set for you to have a play with decorate them paint them up add your embellishments as you wish absolutely gorgeous we have got just so much inspiration already from you jan thank you so much and there's loads more to come don't forget if you do want to treat yourself to some of the goodies now is the time to do so from this show do go and grab them now on our web do not forget i've got more shows coming up for you today now in an hour and a half from now which is three o'clock uk time we're going to be doing a master class and masterclass is a really good way of kind of getting your teeth into an element of aura medium and today it's all about embossing folders 
I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this, but I am going to give you a little sneaky heads up. I have got goodies that are over 50% saving, and then you get the added 5% oh, discount as well crazy. today. So it really is, isn't it? So do not forget that if you are watching us live right now, then you have that opportunity to get the extra 5% off until Sunday. So do make the most of it. So can you give us any sneak ideas of what we've got in the embossing? Oh, we've got cut and emboss folders we've got textured embossing folders I have got I'm trying to think it's uh, I've got lots and lots of I've got some embossing powders on there that are to die for if you like it using embossing powders oh, mixed those. media embossing powders as well they're not your normal fine detail ones so yeah fabulous coming up so you're definitely going to be inspired today I've also got some new bundles coming up for you in that so that as I said is about an hour and a half so keep your peepers peeled for that go put your feet up I will see you at three o'clock. Enjoy!